Welcome to React Native How To. Today I'll show you how to build an uh, input component with a uh, clear functionality. That functionality can be useful in different scenarios, in search bars, in login screens, where users can actually quite quickly clear the text which is within the input. So as you can see, we have input, we put in some text, click clear, and it's empty. Okay, let's do it. I will continue from uh, where I finished last time. So we build a text input for passwords where we can show and hide password. So we are going to build on top of that and keep expanding it. So we have a really nice uh, functional um, input component. All right, so to start off, we need to actually start recording um, the text which is added to the input. So right now, we only have the input itself, uh, which uses all the properties which normal input has. And uh, let's see how we can actually extract the typed in information with input. Uh, we're going to remove the uh, security and change it to login, for example. Login. All right. So to actually get the value, we need to set it uh, to um, some local state. So let's create something. Uh, login set login. And that will be our state holder state. We are starting with an empty string and we have, I'll remove this because it's not needed. And how, it, uh, how should we do it? Input exposes a callback on text on change, on change text. And every time text is changed within this input, we'll get a callback in here. So let's create a local function. Let's call it the same. On change text, login. Okay, so we can have a dedicated for a login. And it, it will get uh, the uh, value of the text input. The value will be string. And let's attach it in here. So we'll see if it's actually working. If we try to type in right now, what will happen? Yes, so we can see that the text is being printed, so everything is being passed in here. So if we want to keep the, the value from the text input, we only have to set it in here. All right, so that's, that's a good starting point. So now let's move to uh, our text input. Of course, we want to clear the text at some point. To do it, we need a button. Let's use the same concept as we have over here. So we can copy this. And instead of secure text entry, uh, let's, let's do clear text entry. This is our own custom mm, property. So it's not available within the text input props. So we have to add it. We will add it. And it's a, it's a, it's a flag. So uh, we just going to do it like that. 
and we can now extract it from props so every time we will add this uh, add this flag that this button will show up at the end of the of the input component of course we don't want to have the show hide but we want to have clear and we don't need any logic in here so let's see if it works clear text entry Ta -da. <laughs> nice uh, now we should basically add a dedicated function which will do something when we click on press clear text entry and we will assign it to our touch event see if it works and yes it's working so what we can do right now we have our on text change and we're holding the value um, in the state so I would say let's override that within the component and allow to call it with a empty value so we can clear the value of the text input so I would call it the same locally to be uh, clearer to read so we are going to do something like that uh, value string and then we will have to override the props value so we do it after the props and if we pass that function to this property it will be overwritten and then we will get our value in here in text input value all right so now let's have a try ah, we didn't save it so let's try it all right in text input value so everything goes over here no and it's not being passed in here so let's do a simple trick props and let's pass the value the typescript and basically tells us that it can be undefined because it could be not provided so let's just basically uh, make sure it's available and if it is let's call it all right and see what's happened now all right so we have both functions being called the one in the text input and one already in here in our scene so what we can do we would like to clear the text so this is our function which is called when we click clear nothing happens in here so I would say call this with an empty string that will pass empty string which which will tell input to clear itself and see no it doesn't work why because actually the text input doesn't know what the value is we only store it in here for the scene we don't do anything with the value to do something with it for the input we have to pass it to the input so we take it like that with this we can set the current value of the text input so we will put our updated value as a current value and let's see what will happen hello and when I click 
clear, I'll overwrite with an empty string and it gets cleared. And more or less, that's about it. That's the whole logic in here. We have a fairly nice, clean and simple approach how to add a clean button. We can of course turn it off because we have a flag for it. And I think that's it for today. If you like this tutorial and you would like to see more, uh, please hit subscribe, leave a comment if something's not right or you would like to see something different and see you next time.